Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In this lecture, we will learn how to do the 2D meshing. Now to do the 2D meshing, first of all, let's open up a file. So go to open. In your project file, go to the folder of 2D mesh and select this file that is clip.midsurface. Select this file and click open. Right now we can see the wireframe is showing. Now to have a better view of this, I will select this shaded view. So click on this shaded view and now we can see the 3D solid geometry. If I zoom in here, so zoom in onto this, we can see it is a sheet of very little thickness. And if we want to find out the thickness of the sheet, so I zoom in here and then press the F4 key from the keyboard F4 go to two points from here select the first point and select the second point and here we can see the distance that is 0 0.9 so i click cancel so this value is basically the thickness of the sheet i click return and then zoom out so whenever we have a sheet of very little thickness we need to extract the mid surface now in the model tree, if I go to the left, we can see we have one component and this surface is inside this component. So this is the surface. Now I go to the geometry from here and then go to mid surface. Inside this mid surface, we need to select auto mid surface, here auto extraction and here the surface. So select this complete surface and click on extract. And here we can see the mid surface has been extracted. We can see in the component, one more component has been added with the name middle surface. And all the middle surface has gone inside this component. And if we want to turn on and off these points here, we can see the points are visible. So we can use this option on and off. Right now I'm making them on and then go to the component from here and then turn off this solid component so click on this surface and turn it off and turn on this middle surface and here we can see this is the middle surface I zoom in and we can see the middle surface now we have to do the meshing of this middle surface to do the meshing before going into the meshing we need to set up this meshing to set up the meshing press the O key from the keyboard, press O. Here we can select the element size. So in this problem, we are taking the default element size as one. So element size is one. The order of element is first order. And here we can see topology revision. Inside this topology revision, we need to select this as a keep mesh. So we have delete mesh, remesh and advanced mesh. So basically what will happen if we select all these other options, if I make some any changes inside this geometry, the, the complete mesh will change and that is something we don't want. So here, whenever we do meshing in hyper mesh, we always have to select this option keep. Now click return from here and then go to 2D and then auto mesh. Also, we can press the F12 key from the keyboard as a shortcut. So press F12. Now inside this, we need to select size and bias. And then we need to select the surface. The element size is one. The mesh type is mixed. Here the element to surface. So this option means where the meshing will go. So this meshing will go into the surface component. And this middle surface is inside this component middle surface. So all the meshing will go into this component. And then here we can select the order and then keep connectivity. Now before going into the meshing, one more thing we have to understand is that whenever in a geometry we have a hole in meshing, we need to create a washer for that hole. So let's say we I zoom in here. And we can see these are all the holes. 
and these are basically the bolt holes and to create the meshing and to create the mesh of the bolt holes we need to create a washer now to create the washer go to this geometry go to quick edit or you can use f11 key from your keyboard f11 and here we can see the washer so generally different companies has different standard for their washer but right now i'm just selecting this washer as a offset value of 1 later in the course we will learn how the washer is created in industries initially we are just starting with the basics so let's say the washer i'm taking is of offset value 1 click the washer here and then offset value so offset value is 1 select the circle now we can see the washer has been created similarly we need to create the washer for all the holes so select the this hole this hole and this hole and then press the escape key from your keyboard now i'm going to start the meshing so press f12 so now first of all we have to do the meshing of all these washers so i zoom in so let's say i select the circle and then click on this mesh whenever we do the meshing of any washer we have to make sure we don't want any tria element so inside we can see these are triangle elements so the number of nodes on the outside and inside should be equal so let's say i'm selecting number of nodes 12 so here we can see number of nodes are 13 and here 6 so i want to reduce the number of nodes on the outside so take the mouse onto this 13 and then right click now we can see number has been reduced now we need to increase the number of nodes on the inside so take the mouse onto this value and then left click multiple times so here we can see number of nodes are increasing so click on multiple times now we can see it is showing 12 so press the roller or we can click on this mesh and now we can see the proper mesh has been created i click return and again zoom out similarly we need to create the mesh of all the three holes so select the holes one by one so now i am selecting multiple surfaces at a single time select all the three surfaces and click on mesh now here we can see on the all sides we need to select equal number of nodes so what i can do is i can go to this option of set all two now inside the set all two i insert the element density 12 press enter and then click on this set all two now automatically in all the sides the number of nodes should the number of nodes are 12 here i can zoom in we can see 12 and then click on this mesh and click return and now we can see the mesh has been created so right now we can see the color of the meshing is same as the color of component so we can change this so this left side shows the color of component on the right side it will show it shows the color of the meshing so inside this i click on this and then go to by config so we can select by property by material by assembly so right now i'm selecting this as by config return now the color of the meshing has been changed according to the configuration for example we have quadrilateral element prior elements now press the f12 once again and then we will have to continue the mesh so this time i will select this surface so click on this surface and click mesh and then rotate this and now we can see the mesh has been created now what i can do is here we can see the mesh inside the elements is not proper what we can do when the mesh is not proper we can go to this option of mesh style so click on this mesh style here we need to select the type of element so type of element is mixed 
click on set all i am so basically i am forcing all these element to be mixed in all the sides and then we since we have the quad elements so i have to select them map as rectangle and click on set all now i want to align them and then set all click mesh but so basically with this option whenever we don't have any proper mesh we can use this option sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so i click on return so here we can see some tria elements are also created so i zoom in here we can see the tria elements so generally in meshing we don't want these opposite tria elements now what we can do is i go to the option of surface here and then click on elements so now i am going to do the remesh of them see these elements are not proper here we can see the opposite trias so what i can do is so basically the opposite trias cancel each other hold down the shift key and then hold down the left click and drag the mouse here we can see all the elements are selected and now we can select the remaining element one by one and now i'm going to do the remesh of these elements so in the remesh the settings are same just click on this mesh and click return and now we can see the opposite trias has been removed and then zoom out and then press escape so in this way we have started the meshing so we will continue this in the next lecture i am saving this file for your reference so go to your project file you can use this file that is clip.midsurface1 and save so you can use this file for your reference